Well, there's the daughter's car. Just did the oil change on that one. She was like an oil change over. See, she's got a driving light out, but so I and it was a quart low. So now I've wrote down the mileage and the date. See how she does. Getting under that car. Found out the wondered why it's been doing this to the tires. Um, see how it's eating that edge off. And I just paid to have this thing aligned not too long ago. Well, she's bottomed it out on something. Question her about it, and boy, guess you don't ask teenagers this nowadays what they do to cars. They just run them in the ground, think you can get a new one. So, sorry if I'm a little gritchy, but they didn't start off too good. So, got that done. I'll take that back to town and we'll get the Stratus and come back out. And I am going to work on the big truck there. Replace the radiator with the other one I got. So, yeah, I'm not getting a. I'm getting stuff done this week. It just I haven't made it to work, and I don't know what's stupid is. I'm out here moving around. I'm keeping my numbers down. I go to work, and I'm not, I'm standing in one spot. My numbers are going through the roof. So I guess there's just not enough physical activity working there so and I gotta keep this diabetes under control otherwise it's found out that's uh, I haven't told you guys my neighbor to the east here uh, just had he the other day I heard a scanner call and uh, he uh, of a male unconscious not breathing well I ended up being my neighbor just over here about a quarter mile and uh, found out he was diabetic his diabetes was bad enough he ended up uh, losing part of his toe so oops, what was that uh, anyway new phone still trying to figure it out ah uh, so yeah he was diabetic and uh and he just had surgery a week or so ago so it was either a complication from the surgery or his diabetes so he was on dialysis that's how bad he got and I don't want to go there so yeah anyway See who that was. Starting to look like a used car lot around here. You got cars parked everywhere. <laughs> now I'm getting ready to start working on this. You got the all oh, that helps. Now I can set you guys. God, I like that lens. I can set you guys where need and you can see what's going on. Oh, I gotta remember to turn the screen so I can see. You guys are seeing, make sure. Anyway, that is going to have a helper today, but trying to get a hold of her and uh, can't get no answer. So, what do you do? You just keep going, huh? So, uh, gotta get this. Yeah, I did the oil change in the daughter's car. Had a little talk with her, but no. Nah. That doesn't do no good, but let's see. And since I'm going to be dealing with antifreeze today, I'm not going to work inside. So I spill. I'm going to spill outside. I don't want to clean up my floor today. So. so yep, I got to replace the radiator she decided to not play nice here I love these little impacts sweetest invent ever I lost one I guess or who somebody did all right Okay, I got you, I'm done. 
Hey, there goes a race car. Yeah, it's a nice races. Alrighty. Hey, am I going to have to undo that one to get to the training line? Really? Oh, uh, here's why. Maybe you guys can see. Uh, see where it's discolored? Right. Where the heck? Oh, yeah. There I am. Right there. That's where she's leaking out. Ooh. I better look at that other radiator before I get too crazy. Yeah, that's the same radiator. Whoa, sorry about that, guys. That's even worse. Wrong way. Um, I got to undo the training lines and the engine oil cooler lines on this. So, I'll be back. And then I got to get something under here to catch the oil. All right, we'll be back. Well, we finally got her draining best I can catch most of it anyway check out the lower shroud too so I could get the radiator hose and all that I went and take the took the fan off too so trying to catch what I can and save what I can and then we'll get this radiator out and uh, do the another thing I'll tell you this let's see see what you guys there okay Right there. I'm wondering where that camera's aiming now. I got this little pair of pliers right here. You know what it's sweet for? Right here. Oops, I gotta get the bracket out of the way. Okay, that's out of the way. Now I can come in here. Go like this. Squeeze down. Move the clamp back. And release it for right now. And uh, there. Now I can get the hose off. No slipping with a vice grip and pinching the shit out of your hand or nothing. So. Um, Wanna let this drain for a little bit, then we'll uh, pull her out. I remembered I had to catch my antifreeze first before I undo the engine oil cooler runs, otherwise all the motor oil runs into it. So, all right. Okay, got all the lines off and that, and she should be ready. Just. Not very much antifreeze come out of this at all. I found the missing bolt for the shroud. Now, well, I'm gonna wash down this antifreeze that's sitting down there, and uh, I'll get that other radiator. And I got some antifreeze here, hopefully. So, all right. Now, well, here's what it looks like without it. Uh, I guess. Yeah, this is a pretty clean truck. I had a little trouble getting the bottom hose clamp off because it was put on on the wrong side, so I'll put that on different this time. So, alright. I'll be back. 
See, I got trash in the antifreeze. Well, you guys might think I'm weird, but take a pair of your wife's knee highs or something that she don't use no more, or she's ruined. Wrap your funnel. I've got it on the bottom and top, and uh, I'm filtering it. Uh, whoop, 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 whoop. According to that, I'm full. I don't know how. Well, I noticed one thing. Look at the core on this radiator versus the core on that radiator. All fatter. So, and then see right in here where it's been wet. So, I guess it's time. Whew. Sorry about that bug in my mouth. I just want to filter it out there. Okay, it's not full. So I got that antifreeze that I took out of the Camaro the first time. It's been setting and I'm going to carefully pour that into here. And uh, um, that. So there's just a little tip for if you need to filter something. There's the idea for you. Not being weird or nothing, but I caught on that a long time ago. There's another trick passed down from an old boy that I knew. So, all right, well, I'll get her filled up, and we'll start it and see if it goes down. There's all the crunk I, junk I caught on that side. I haven't looked inside to see what's all there, but it cleaned it. I'm trying to get it up operating temp to get the current stat open. Yeah, I got it running without the fan, so. Trying to get the thermostat to open up. Getting warm, so it's getting there. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, she should be opening pretty soon. So get her all filled up. We put back to get before I put it back together. So all right, I'm gonna run this and. See if I can get that thermostat open and get her circulate and get her filled up. So I'm so glad I did this outside. It ended up being a messier job than I thought it was going to be. So I guess yeah, I guess yeah, I'll do those first. Put Mr. Bolt back in that was missing. I'm back to work again. That idea of magnetic sockets is kind of nice. Works out nice for those fire, uh, spark plugs, I'll tell you that. Well, that's what you did.
All right, I got tools to pick up, and uh, I got all this pickup to do. A couple more spots to wash off because I had and a free spill. She is warm. I ran it without the fan there, you know. So I guess let's see what it does with the fan. What the heck? Oh! What the heck? Oh yeah. That's right, it works with my... My leg hit the door just right and locked the truck. I was like, oh cool, the watch started working again. Now you gotta check to see if my cigarette lighter's working because uh oh yeah I should back down. Because my door locks quit working. And it was a matter of my cousin popping a fuse, but I put a new fuse in, but still not working. Oh yeah, she's pulling there. Oh, we forgot something. Got to put our battery cable back. Okay, that's all locked in. I'm gonna put tools away. I'm gonna let this run, make sure she stays cool. And I'll take her for a test drive. So, time to go find some lunch. Well, according to that, we're running around 200. According to that, we're running 199 on engine cooling temp. Tranny temp's only running at 84 when I checked it. But, uh,. I don't know what's going on with the oil pressure. Usually it runs higher than that, but uh, yeah, it's doing pretty good. Shadow the River. I like this new lens. I kind of wish I would have bought one sooner. Thank you, Two Red Line. That's the one that donated that to help the with the YouTube video. So yeah, that's his. Uh, this is that monitor. That one does live data. A little confusing on the spark thing. This is supposed to be set at zero. It's not throwing any uh, engine codes or nothing, but it says it's like uh, minus 13. My, let's see, we'll find that right now. what it says. RPM, vehicle speed. It says I'm doing 56. My speedometer says 60. But it's minus 15 degrees, 14. It jumps all over the place, so I'm not sure why that's doing that, but uh, yeah, we're going to go find some lunch and make sure she don't leak when I stop. That's when it usually did it, so it's staying cool. I was a little worried with it being a smaller radiator, so hope you guys heard me here. So I've got the windows open because it's getting warm. Look like I got done with the radiator. Time looks like it's about ready to cloud up and rain on us. So all right, another repair done, hopefully. So if it is, I've got two vehicles to haul. I got a pickup and a car to haul down. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting in a 98 Chevy pickup. Not sure what we're gonna do with it. Might actually pull the motor out of it for right now. So alright, well, we'll be back. Hey, we're shooting video on the Stratus for once. Well, I've been out at the farm mowing and going and doing and trying to knock I got a thistle patch that I gotta get knocked down and mower just I had to sharpen blades once. And I was just getting ready to burn a pile of, pile of trash and wife called and they're hungry so I'm running up to get a supper and I may or may not end up back out there but uh, truck is fixed, no more leaks, yeah. Uh, when we're driving, 
driving the Stratus right now. And, uh, I took it because I had working AC. I needed to cool off. I was pretty warm. So, yep. Um, dang it. Got some of my. I guess I don't know much else for today. Uh, probably be a boring day tomorrow. It'll probably just be all mowing. I gotta get that yard knocked down. And then I think Friday we're gonna go pick up uh, engine parts and get working on a new motor for the other pickup. So I'm gonna go pay that bill off, get that stuff home, and uh, start working on that motor. That crank, the block can stay standard, the crank's turned. So I can get me a set of rings and bearings and that. And uh, we can get the short block rebuilt. Have that ready until I can find me some heads. So, uh, yeah. So that's kind of a game plan. I just. going from there so well I guess I don't know much else so I'm gonna go get our supper and uh, I'm, I'm home I'll upload the video and we'll see what tomorrow brings so all right